All right. Now, the next thing we got to do is gap the rings on this thing. Uh, and the way this actually works, as soon as I locate the piston ring that I just had in my hand. So, you have your piston rings here. So, when this is in there, it's going to squeeze together. And you don't want to have, or you know, when it's around the piston and inside the jug. So, you don't have too big of a gap there because obviously you'll have blow by. And then, if you have too small of a gap there, um, when your piston heats up and your ring heats up, it'll expand and it'll actually bind up on itself. And then it's going to bind up inside the jug. So, what you're going to do, this is the bottom piston ring. We're going to take this, we're going to put it down inside the jug. You always want to do this in the cylinder it's going into. So, line that sucker up right down in there. So, it's down in there. See it in place there. It's down into the bore. It's level and square. You can still see the gap going on right there. So now, um, I already did the math. There's a get math. It's something like uh, four and a half to five thousandths um, per inch of cylinder diameter. Uh, and these are three and seven eighths pistons. So uh, I believe we were going for. Um, I don't remember what it is. Let's see where we're starting at. So we're going to take our feeler gauges. Uh, I think minimum it was going to be like 16 or 17 thousandths gap. So we're going to start with 16. We're just going to slide this in there and see how she fits. Got lots of extra room. So then we're going to go up. You'll see the numbers are written on here. We're going to go up to 20 thousandths of an inch. Oh, that's, that's a pretty tight fit there. We'll go up to 21, just to see where we're at next. I'm betting 21 is probably going to be too tight. 21 does not make it all the way to the cylinder jug wall here. So we're going to go, that's a 20 thousandths gap. We're actually sitting in pretty good shape right there. So next step from there uh, is to gap the upper ring. This is the lower ring. You want to keep these separated, that way you don't lose them or get them screwed up upper end gaps to the same amount and pretty much the same procedure some to read your at least on this setup it does sometimes your uh piston manufacturer you know engine kit manufacturer will gap the uh, top one differently than the bottom one um read your instructions that come along with your big board kit uh it's not just packing material you're actually supposed to read the instructions so 20 thousandths we're just going to start with that because that's where it was on the back it actually fits really well. I believe we can go up to 25 or 26 thousandths. Oh, 21 on that. Go up to 23. 23 is a tad bit too tight, so we'll probably call it 22 then. We'll check this to make sure. 22, definitely. So we're sitting really good on that ring. Pop back out of there. If we needed to do anything with it, we'd hold this on a flat bench and take a little small flat file, shave a few thousandths of this off, make sure you keep it on you know, the same plane, shave a, few, you know, shave a thou or two off or whatever you needed, come back, check it, then repeat. So that's pretty much gapped in your piston rings.